I'm a Steen Hatchie resident, not too far from here. And uh, I've been coming here for over 30 years. And the coastline has always been the same, either the tides in or the tides out. I'm with the Florida Naturalist Program, uh, University of Florida IFAS, and uh, I'm here to uh, give a little explanation on the coastline and a little bit more information on what you're going to be seeing out there. So uh, as part of the course that we did for the Florida Naturalist Program, we were challenged to do a project, and my project is basically giving a little more information on Hagen's Cove and what the sights and sounds you're gonna see at Hagen's Cove. Starting over here, we have a horseshoe crab and he's gonna be going through and telling you what you're going to be seeing as you overlook this great coastline. So uh, right now, the tide is uh, in, but the, when the tide goes out, you will see much more of the mud banks and the grass that is pictured in that picture. Um, there's also another avenue that you will want to um, pursue. If you see any horseshoe crabs, you're going to want to look to see if there's a tag and take a picture of it and then send it to the URL that's listed on the tag. As we mentioned in this um, panel, if the, the horseshoe crab is dead, uh, go ahead and dispose of it, but still take a picture and send it because uh, we don't want to have a repeat of a tracking. So just make sure that you dispose of it and um, so no one else will find it. Over here we have the periwinkle snails that we learned about in class. And they're out there in the grass. If you look closely, you'll be able to see the little um, snails attached to the grass, the sea grass. And then over here also, um, looking out towards the left, you will see the black needle brush, the beautiful uh, grass that um, adds a contrast to the grass grasses that are, list, uh, that are uh, viewed out there. And then we also have the mangrove. And the mangrove we learned also in class that has now migrated from the south to the north. And uh, it um, actually flowers and pollinates within the branch of the plant. And then once it goes, um, falls off of the plant, it actually travels then for very many uh, miles and then finally uh, gets root into this uh, sand or the mud bath marsh for um, its growth. And that's why we'll see there are some out there that have already matured and are blooming out there too. And um, careful where you tread because we do have little creatures out there that are scurrying around for food and are also um, trying to mate. If you see, we have the um, fiddler crab and he's got the, the big um, claw and that claw is to attract the females. And then we got the females over here that are scavenging for food and they don't have the big claw. And then we have a blue crab over here that was swimming along when we came here previously to um, look at the coastline. And then this is where the tide is in and it's almost like a new life where tide comes in and it gives a chance to regrow and regroup. So that's basically the um, whole scenario that you have here playing out. So the plan is to get these laminated and then to mount them on a, a plaque that will extend out in a slant so that people can be viewing the landscape along with seeing the um, plaques with the information on them. This place is very precious and um, I, it's 
got a lot to offer. It's one of the few natural beaches that are still around, intact, and has been for many years and still is. And we are looking to preserve this as one of our natural coastlines so that everybody can enjoy it. That's the reason why I put this presentation together to give people a little bit more information and to get them educated on what what a jewel we have here and how to help preserve it. And by understanding the whole coastline, you can then be able to appreciate it and continue to preserve it for many generations to come. around and it was upsetting me so rather than complaining I went and took action and requested that we put a sign here. It has improved a lot as you can see there's not that much trash around anymore but we're asking you please to pick up your trash and also be um, aware when you're on the boat to stow your trash because a lot of the trash is coming in from the, the ocean and with the waves and tides bringing it in that you may have not realized that the trash was on your boat but then the wind took it or was you were, you were um, going on your boat in um, certain areas it could have come off with your weight so we really ask you to try and be cognizant of the whole environment that's around and again this is such a precious place we want to keep it nice for everybody mm -hmm. 